So, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, classmates. I am Angelica Aligado, and our topic is all about components of a computer. So, a computer is an electronic device that, man that manipulates information or data and it has the ability to store, retrieve, and process data. It also contains both hardware components and software applications. So, hardware. It pertains to the computer's physical devices. It is any part of the computer that can be seen and touched. A computer's hardware consists of interrelated electronic devices that are used to manipulate the computer's operation, input devices, and output devices. So, in summary, hardware encompasses all the physical parts of a computer or electronic device. It ranges from the essential processing unit and memory to storage devices, input and output devices, and various other components required for the device to operate effectively. So, here are some important components of a computer so input and output devices so these are essential hardware components that enabling users to interact with the computer system so first we have the input devices so is a piece of equipment used to provide data and control signals to an information processing system so the following are some of the most common and important input devices of a computer so first we have the keyboard is the most common input device that accepts letters, numbers, and commands from the user. So, mouse is used by moving it on a flat surface, pressing its two buttons, left and right, and scrolling the wheel that is located between, a, between the buttons. So, there are also two al alternatives using a mouse. Track, first is the trackball, a ball that can rotate using a finger, or the palm of a hand to move the pointer. So next is the touchpad or also called trackpad. It's a touchpad sensitive pad that lets use that lets the user move the pointer by touching and dragging his or her finger on the pad. And that next for input devices is the microphone. Allows a user to speak into the computer to input data and instructions. And next is the scanner. Converts printed materials such as text and pictures into a form into a form the computer can use. So there are different types of scanners that available. So most common is a flatbed scanner, a scanner that provides a flat glass surface to hold a to hold a sheet of paper, book or other object for scanning. So next is the handheld or portable scanner, an, ele an electronic device that performs the task of scanning documents just like a flat bed scanner, but it is physical, physically handled. The next is the digital camera, allows one to take pictures then, then transfers to the photograph images to the computer or printer instead of storing the images on a traditional film. Next is the PC video camera. It's a digital video camera that enables users to create movie or take still photographs electronically. So, output device output devices is any hardware components that transmits information one or more to one or more people. So, there are three commonly used output device as a follow. So, we have first the printer are the most commonly used and popular devices. They provide information in a permanent readable from. They produce printed output of results, programs, and data. Print prints text or image on a paper called hard copy. The printing speed of a printer is measured in pages per minute, ppm. Our printer resolution is often measured in dots per inch or dpi. So we have two... Uh, types of printer we have the impact printer and non-impact printer so impact printer this printer use an electromechanical mechanical mechanism an impact printer refers to all those printers whose printing heads touch printing head touch the paper so his mechanism uses hammers or pins to strike against a ribbon and paper to print the text or image so, example, ane is ang dot matrix printer. So, next is the non-impact printer. This printer use, uses ink and special electrical machines for producing outputs. 
Non-impact printers are also are all those printers whose printing heads do not touch paper. A non-impact printer forms char characters and image on a piece of paper without actually striking the paper. So example ani is ang laser printer o ang inkjet printers. So next is the monitor. A computer monitor is an output device that display information in pictorial or textual form. A discrete monitor comprises a visual display, support electronics, power supply, housing and electrical connectors, and external user exter, external user controls. So na three types of monitor, which is ang CRT or cathode ray tube, a vacuum tube containing one or more elect electron guns, which emit electron beams that are manipulated to display images on a phosphorescent screen. The next is ang LCD or ang liquid crystal display. It's a type of flat panel display which is uses liquid crystals in its primary form of operation. Then next is with is the LEDs or the light emit emitting diodes. A flat screen LCD display that uses light emitting di diodes or LEDs as pixels to create visuals. I'm Jezebel Galliardo Leopoldo, continuing the reporting about the other parts of computer. So first is we have the speaker. A speaker is a piece of the hardware attached to a computer system used to produce sounds. So ang speaker naman is very understandable. So let's proceed to the system unit. So, system unit is a computer case, also known as a computer chassis, is the endorser that contains most of the hardware of a personal computer. The components housed inside the case are refers as the internal hardware, while hardware outside the case are known as peripheral. So, next is we have a motherboard. Motherboard also is called main board, main circuit board, MBM board, black plane board, Mubo or in Apple computers. Logic board is the main printed circuit board. PCB in general purpose computers and other expendable systems. It holds and allows communications between many of the crucial electronic components of a system such as the central processing unit which is a CPU, a memory and provides connectors for other peripherals. Unlike a backplane a motherboard usually contains significant subsystems such as the central processors, the chipsets, input, output, and memory controllers, interface, connectors, and other components integrated for general use. So motherboard means specifically a PCB with expansion capabilities as the name suggests. This board is often referred to as the mother of all components attached to it, which often include peripherals, interface, cards and daughter's boards, sounds, card video and video cards, network cards, host bus adapters, TV, toners cards, IEE 3094 cards, and a variety of other costumes components. So next is a storage devices. So storage devices is a computers have various forms of a storage to store data permanently. Hardest drives, which is HDD, and a solid state drives, which is SSD, are the most common storage devices providing long-term storage for operating systems, applications, files, and other data. So, there are other types of uh, storage devices. First is uh, flash disk drives. These drives is a plug and play portable storage devices that user flash memory and is lightweight enough to attach to a kitchen. So the second is we have the hardest drive. This drive is the hardware components that stores all of your digital contents. The last is the compon uh, compact desk. Uh, this desk is a comfortable storage medium that can be record, store, and playback audio, video, and other data in digital form. Uh, so why computers are powerful? So computers are powerful for several reasons. First and foremost, uh, computers have the ability to process informations and perform calculations at an incredibly high speed. 
This speed is largely due to the presence of electronic components such as transistors and integrated circuits, which allow for the rapid flow of data and instructions. In summary, computers are powerful due to their high processing speed, large storage capa capacities, versatility, connectivity, and continuous advancements in hardware and software technologies. <laughs> These factors combined make computers an indispensable tool in various fields enabling us to solve complex problems, analyze data, create immersive experiences, and revolutionize the way we live and work. So we have the classifying computers. So first is we have the personal computers. So uh, personal computers, is uh, which is PCS, are the most common type of computers used by individuals. They come in various forms such as desktops, laptops, and tablets. PCs are versatile are used for a wide range of activities including work, entertainment, internet, browsing, and gaming. So the second is we have the uh, workstations. So workstations are powerful desktop computers designed for a professional use in fields such as graphic design, video editing, and 3D modeling and engineering. They offer enhanced uh, performance and, and are often, often equipped uh, with specialized hardware and software. So the third is we have the mini computers. So mini computers as the name uh, suggests are the smaller than mainframes but larger than personal computers. They have a moderate computing power and, and were commonly used in the past of uh, scientific research, engineering and business applications. So mainframe computers is a mainframe computers is a large scale computers used by the organis organizations to manage and process vast amounts of uh, data simultaneously. They are known for their reliability, scalability, and ability to handle multiple users and tasks. And currently, so the fourth is we have the supercomputers. So. The supercomputer, uh, this, uh, these are the extremely powerful and high-performance machines designed to uh, handle complex calculations and process large amount of data. They are uh, typically used for uh, scientific research, weather forecasting, and simultaneous simu uh, simulations. So, uh, we have the many different types of uh, computers. Uh, first is we have the desktop computers. A desktop computer is a personal computing device designed to fit in top of a typical office desk. So the second, so we have the laptop computer. So a laptop computer, sometimes called a notebook computer by uh, manufacturers, is the a battery of a, a AC-powered personal computer PC uh, smaller than a briefcase. So the third is we have the tablet computers. So a tablet is a wireless portable personal computer with a touchscreen interface. So and then the smartphones is a a smartphone is a cellular ce cellular telephones with an integrated computers and other features not originally associated with telephones. And then last is we have the wearables. So wearable in computers such as smartwatches and fitness trackers are small devices that can be worn in the body. And the last is we have the smart TVs. A smart TVs are also known as a connected TVs, a traditional television set with an integrated internet and interactive with 2.0 features, which allows users to stream music and videos, browse the internet, and view photos. So, and understanding the components of a computer is a uh, crucial of a uh, troubleshooting, upgrading, or assembling a uh, system. Each uh, component plays a vital role in uh, ensuring the proper functionings of the computers as a whole. These components work uh, together harmoniously to provide various computing functions and uh, enabling the computers to process data, run applications, and fulfill the user's needs. That's all. Thank you.